Hi, in this video you will learn about all the things mentioned in this overview, especially how to install a C and C++ compiler, how to use it with the Eclipse IDE and how to get some documentation on C and C++. The mentioned resources can be used as an offline toolchain, which means you can easily reinstall everything without any online dependency in the future. First, download the TDM GCC compiler. Then download the Java runtime environment. Continue downloading the Eclipse IDE for C and C++ developers. Download the draft of the C++ standard. After that, download the C and C++ reference. Optionally, you can download a zip file extractor. Your downloads folder should now look something like this. Create yourself a dedicated development directory. Install the compiler, carefully noticing the installation paths. Make sure the compiler is properly installed. Continue installing the Java runtime environment. Next, review the path environment variable for the Java runtime environment and the compiler. Optionally, install the zip file extractor. Now unpack Eclipse. In the same way, unpack the C and C++ reference. and copy over the C++ standard. Now start Eclipse. Here you can set your Eclipse workspace.
You can even pin it to the taskbar. In the Preferences, you can set the settings to the defaults. You can also select the dark theme easily. Notice already certain locations where you can reset settings which you set to a default. Let's create a new project. Here I'm adding a new source file. I am creating the main function by using Eclipse Content Assist. In the Preferences you can see the existing templates. I use code formatting for a consistent style. You can also set the personal default which you can reset in the Preferences. Here's how you can find the existing hotkeys. Trying to run the application fails because no binaries have been created yet. Here you can see two ways on how to create them. Let's run it again and congratulations on your first program. It doesn't do much yet. If you want to know more about the main function, look it up in the C++ standard document. If you are somewhat experienced in C++ and wonder why there is no return statement, see the standard for some special cases. In the project settings, you can change the standard you want to use. Notice that you apply it to all configurations. If you want to debug your application, you might run through this error. To fix it, you must set the proper debugger.
Here you can also set where the debugger stops. While debugging, you can change the perspective of Eclipse. You can also change back to the normal perspective. The default debugger can be set in the global preferences too. You can skim through the C and C++ reference to find out about basic output in either C or C++. Here is a little example in C. Notice the header file starts with a C. And remember you can use the code formatting feature. Let's run it and there you go. Now switching to a C++ example. Well done! Here are some additional tips. You can disable spell checking in the preferences. You can clean the project through right click on the project. You can also reset your perspective from the menu. That's it. Thank you for watching. I hope you learned something. And if you did, please like the video and consider subscribing to the channel if you want to support the creation of future content. Bye.